Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make roller coaster on scratch and I'm going to show you how it works. So, I have to click and drag my mouse pointer to make our own path, our own way here. And I'm going to make one loop and press the space bar and there the roller coaster goes. And now let me add two more loops. I'm going to make one more. And strip bar. And now let's make it. I'll just take the sprite and I'll just delete the costume. Delete. And now just make one small dot like that. And I'll keep it black because I want it to be black. Okay. So just make it black. And also it should be in the center like that. And now let's make this thing draw that roller coaster. So the green flag is clicked. So we need to like take a pen extension. So just click that, uh, click this icon down here. Just click it and you can see this pen extension. Just click that. Then you'll get this pen extension, you, some new blocks. And now let's take the erase all block and keep it here so that every time we test it, it will just like take a new screen with no roller coaster tracks and we also keep it here so that it starts from there so i'll just set the position there and to draw we need to keep pen down so to draw we need to like uh, add the this uh, pen down block and now after that to make it follow the mouse pointer only when we click it only when we click anywhere here we need to like keep a forever block and then keep an if block I mean add an if block and then add a mouse down block and keep it in the if condition and inside the if condition you have to add a point towards mouse pointer move it mouse pointer and move it you can keep it how much ever steps, steps you want but you should not keep it about 10 then it will not be looking good so just keep 5 because that's a good number and there we can wait we need to draw in the thing wait no it's not pen down it's pen up it's not pen up it's pen down okay now it will work there it's drawing one it's drawing one uh, track so now we can just like uh, take a roller coaster and make it go in this so to make the roller coaster go here we need to do something so it's like we have to make three list variables so the first one will be d for direction and click ok second one will be x which is the x position and the next will be oh, not set y y position i'll just hide those so that it's not blocking the screen like that okay so now in the beginning we'll just delete all of these all of the things in these variables just add three of these and keep just put it like that and now when we come here we need to store all the positions so right after this move five steps you have to keep you have to add and add thing to the variable d actually the if it's direction you have to add this direction in motions and now just duplicate it add another one delete this 
and add x uh, not the x and scroll down here i'll take this x position keep it here and do the same for y like that now this is storing all the positions of this sprite so you, i'll just show all of these and you can see that when i'm mo moving my this thing the dot it's getting stored with so many positions x y and directions everything that's what it does so now we need to add one more condition it's like when we finish this road i mean the track we have to like to we have to press the space key to like say that it's finished so we'll just add this key space pressed key i, I mean the block and go to this uh, event and take this broadcast block keep it there and now let's just paint a sprite so now let's make a roller coaster so now i'll just uh, put make a rectangle and this should be empty and the outline should be completely black and i'll increase this a bit yeah that's enough and now i'll add two wheels here so i'll just add circles there and here I need to take that a little bit down. Okay, that's enough. Now I want to make this a little longer. And this little touch. That's enough. And now I will like to make this like a train. I'll just click this area and just leave it. And this area, I'll just take it and point. I'll just take this and put it here in this mode. Make it curvy so that it's not looking so pointy. I'll just place it here, and I'll bring this a little bit here. And yeah, that's better. And also, one more thing you need to do is that after you have created your roller coaster, you have to like. Keep it a little bit above this uh, point over here so that th that uh, it will go above this line else if you keep it right here it will go in the middle of the line because this dot is uh, storing the position of this line because it's in the center so this may also if you keep it this in the center this may also go in the middle of the track so we don't want that so I'll keep it a little bit above this dot this dot and I'll add more details later after I make the train at least go like in this track. So now in this we need to do some setup so when the green flag is clicked it should like hide and no need to put uh, yeah you can put a hide and also keep a forever block and if and you need to make one more variable which is like you can't just like uh, simply keep add thing like that so you have to make a variable to say like which position should it follow this uh, in the list so it's like this all has numbers right so i need to the that variable will say which position to go in these numbers so i'll just hide that variable now i'll just make I'll just rename this variable. It can be for all the sprites, so I'll just rename it and keep position. Okay, and click OK. You have to set position to zero at the beginning, and here you have to keep. You have to add add 
if uh, position is equal to I mean not like that you have to add length of D yeah I actually really need that so if position is equal to the length of any of these variables you can keep d x or y because they all will be the same value i'll just put choose d because it looks like the odd one okay so after that i'll take a hide block and keep it here okay now the setup code is done so i did this post this code so that when we when it finishes it will like it will still be there so i did it so that this will like hide when it finishes so now to make the roller coaster move so let's just keep when i i mean add when i receive message one the one which we did over here so that we like so now from there we'll just like keep a forever block here and now let's add a go to block go to block and a point in direction block and one change variable block okay just zoom it a little bit because it doesn't work that much good okay so now now it should we should like add like item position the number in position of d it's not bd so keep it add keep it x so that it's like go to x so you have to it should match then only it will like go equally so now i'll duplicate it for the y and and you have to keep it the same for the y but only that x thing you have to change this thing this one can be the same because we need that to happen for all of the go to blocks and the change direction now i'll keep y here and now in this position block okay that's it so now let's see how that works so i'll just make one so yeah, let me zoom in let's make one small track let's see whether it can go it's not working yeah i got the problem it's going but we can't see it because we forgot to keep a show block so just keep it right after the message is received so now I will go on track like that and then now yeah and the position I didn't keep it a little bit properly that's why it's going like something wait I forgot to change this to direction that's why it was going like that now it will work perfectly. So now just make a thing like that. And there it's working perfectly. And let's see whether it will hide when it reaches the end. Yeah. And I'll also add some more designs in this thing. I'll just like just copy paste and make another one and also I will make this part thing and make this linking take it up here and this bind these both put it over here like that and add a line there so it's connected okay and 
that's it if you like this video please subscribe and click the bell icon